Welcome to your induction program. This program is what you will need to know in regards to work health, safety and the environment at your workplace. Your supervisor will assist you throughout your first few weeks at work, introducing you to others and showing you around the workplace. Ensure floor surfaces are even and undamaged and wear footwear which is suitable to the tasks you are doing. In the distribution and warehousing industry, you will be working around a variety of machines. Some will be mobile like forklifts and others are less mobile like racks, shrink wrap machines and conveyors. It is important that you are aware that these machines can be hazardous. Always follow signage for your workplace and ensure that you receive instructions that you can understand from your supervisor about the operation of these machines. Certain types of plants such as industrial lift trucks and some types of cranes require the operator to have a high risk work license before they can operate the plant. Remember to familiarise yourself with the traffic management plan in your workplace. Manufacturers supply manuals with machinery. Read the manuals and become completely familiar with the equipment before using it, paying particular attention to the potential hazards of each piece of machinery. Keep the manuals handy for future reference. Have an experienced operator provide instructions and a demonstration of the equipment before you use it. Learn safeguarding techniques for each machine. Become familiar with the purpose and nature of each required guard and how to inspect and use the guards. Never remove the guards. Thoroughly inspect the equipment prior to using it. Most equipment manuals have inspection checklists. Make sure all the factory installed safety devices are operating properly and don't use the equipment if they are not. Immediately report all equipment faults to your supervisor. Any emergency instructions relating to an item of plant should be clearly displayed on or near it. Review the personal protective equipment required for the safe use of each machine. Become familiar with and wear the protective clothing provided by your supervisor and recommended by the equipment manufacturer. Recognise other potential hazards. They may include noise, possible chemical splashing, sparking and excessive heat. Ask for instructions on how to minimise other potential hazards. Keep the area in and around the machine neat and well lit. Poor housekeeping and lighting are factors in a number of machine injuries. Any limitations to vision or mobility are potentially dangerous. Do not wear loose fitting clothes or jewellery which may get caught in machinery. Long hair also needs to be confined. Machinery must be maintained and repaired according to the manufacturer's specifications or in the absence of such specifications in accordance with a competent person's recommendations. For example, ensure fluid levels and pressures are correct and ensure brakes are functioning properly. Machinery should be isolated before maintenance or cleaning commences. Where machinery is isolated and plant shutdown will result, any total or partial shutdown should not allow a hazardous situation to be created. Follow the lockout, tagout procedures when performing maintenance. Review the procedures with your supervisor before disconnecting the machine from its source of power. Stay in control of that source of power. A person may feel they are being harassed if they are subjected to repeated behaviour by another person that is unwelcome and unsolicited and the person considers to be offensive, intimidating, humiliating or threatening. For example, workplace harassment may include verbally abusing a person loudly when others are present, repeated threats of dismissal or punishment for no reason and constant ridicule or being put down. It may also include behaviours such as leaving offensive messages on email or the telephone or sabotaging a person's work, for example, by deliberately withholding or supplying incorrect information, hiding documents or equipment, not passing on messages, and getting a person into trouble in other ways. Situations which are not considered workplace harassment include a single incident, legitimate and reasonable management actions. If you believe you have been harassed, you should first approach the other party and tell them you do not like what they are doing and request it stops. If you are uncomfortable with this, or nothing changes after this request, you discuss the matter with your supervisor. All complaints of bullying or harassment should be treated seriously, confidentially and impartially, and action taken to ensure that any harassment stops immediately. Instances of workplace harassment, discrimination and sexual harassment should be reported to your supervisor. 
The stability of a forklift is based on the stability triangle of the forklift. This triangle is formed by the front drive axle and the midpoint of the rear steering axle. When the forklift is not loaded, the centre of gravity for the forklift is at point D. When a load with a centre of gravity at F is added to the forks, the combined centre of gravity is located at E. If the combined centre of gravity remains above the stability triangle, then the forklift is stable. If the combined centre of gravity moves outside of the stability triangle, the forklift will tip. An understanding of the concept of centre of gravity is essential to ensuring the stability of a loaded forklift.